Hey, what's up, everybody? Karen Civil here from Music Choice, and we have Def Jam's own Little Dirk here. Yeah, yeah, what's up, y'all? So tell us what it's like being signed to uh, Def Jam. You know, that is a powerhouse in hip hop. Yeah, it feel good, but you know, you gotta, you gotta build your own buzz up. You know, being signed just a step. So tell us about the single that you're working right now, This Ain't What You Want. Um, This Ain't What You Want, it's going crazy right now. Like, it's an anthem. Like, the first song was L, you heard it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's basically, I like anthem music. I don't like all that hardcore stuff all the time. So there's talk that you're working on a remix. There's some names thrown out there from a Kendrick Lamar to a Rick Ross. How do you narrow it down to who you want to feature on this record? Um, we do. We think about it as a team, though. So uh, like my manager said, put out a few names. I put out a few names, and we came together and see who was the best to fit it. So when do we get the official remix? Um, we ain't got no day right now. Okay, so let's talk about your project that you're working on with DJ Drama. Comes out next month. Let's get the title, production, <clears throat> features. What can we expect? Um, Sands to the Streets, DJ Drama. Um, I got a lot of, I use a lot of um, low key producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause they, they, I use Chop Two, Bueller, um, Drew the Drama, Leaky Leak. And if, on the feature side, I got Cash Out, Meek Mills, Fresh Montana. Larice. So it feels like Chicago is just on the reemerge of just being what is hot in hip hop with, you know, um, from the producer side, I know there's King Louie to Little BB to Little Bibby to you. Like, how does that feel to you? It feel good. Just knowing we can do this. And everybody, everybody know each other, so it ain't like everybody beefing or something. Everybody know each other. Everybody got a bond, everybody cool. So let's break down what does OTF stand for. I know this is your crew, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are kind of confused and think you're part of GBE. So what's OTF? OTF is on, only the family. Okay. What does it like consist of? Uh, it, it was just a lot of just hang out, basically for real. We just hang out, toss up OTF, is only the family. And when the rapper came along, we was like, man, we need to make up a rap group. And we brought it back up like OTF, and that's when they made their GBE. And 300 was just everybody. Okay, so when can we, I know you're working on your solo project. Are we gonna get a project from OTF officially? Oh uh, yeah, we gonna do something with the Coke Boys. Oh, that'll be dope. So you're yeah. gonna partner with French Montana then? Mm -hmm. So besides French, is there anyone else that you're working with? Um, uh, Yo Gotti, Meek Mills, Cash Out, um, the Amigos, like I said, Reese, Fredo. Just basically everybody that we always been rocking with. So how do you figure out, you know, you being an emerging <clears throat> artist and a lot of people you name being an emerging artist, how do you figure out who you want to work with? It just come, it just come apart. Like, you know how you just put on a song, you be like, oh, it sounds mm -hmm. like what's name and get on there. Yeah. And they can only say yeah or no, so it ain't hurt to shoot your shot. Okay. So we're out here for Lollapalooza. You being a Chicago native, tell us about where you grew up. I believe it's the South Side? Yeah, South Side, Inglewood. So tell us a little bit about that, because you know we see the stories in the news and the things that are happening out here. Give us a breakdown on what exactly is Chirac. Man, it's 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 bad right now. A lot of violence going on, and you know Iraq mm -hmm. is war, gunshots, killing over there. So we just put Shy in front of it. So Chirac. So when when did you figure out, like you know I think I want to start rapping. That that be your escape from Chirac. Um, me and D Gaines. Uh, the cameraman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had did a song together. We were just doing a song, and I wasn't really taking rapping serious. And I got a lot of response from it. I'm like, man, I'm gonna start taking it serious. I'm gonna start taking it serious from now. Did you think, you know, um, a lot of people who were unfamiliar with you figured out who you were through the internet, from your YouTube, your, you know, the faders and the in the situations like that. Like, is that different for you? from a meaning of a standpoint of, were you expecting that kind of notoriety? Because most no, artists, no. most artists, you know, you have to just go to a label and just shop yourself. You just put, like, you just was like, I'm putting my YouTube up, put the link out, and it worked for you. Yeah, like, everybody was, everybody was together, so it made it more easy. I say it was easy, because you had him popping and him popping and him hopping. Mm -hmm. So now they want to look at everybody. So that's why a lot of ads on Chicago, that's why a lot of people being seen. Okay. So when can we expect, if it's ever possible, that King Louie, you know, Little Reese, Little Dirk, 
just uh, Chief Keef, maybe like a Chirac tour? Yeah, we trying to, everybody trying to get it together. It, ain't, it don't be us, man, it be the managers. Okay. It be the managers. So maybe soon, maybe soon more than anything. Yeah, we with it, but the managers be having their own little discussion, so we with it. Okay, so what can we expect coming up for the rest of the year for you? Man, songs after songs, hits after hits, more videos, features, everything. Okay. Turn it up. Dope. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by with us and hanging with us, and look forward to uh, that remix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MC.